Hey, what's going on guys? It's Trek YT. You're Nick back with another brand new video, guys. Today, I wanted to show any of you guys that work here is how you can turn any image from the internet or from your personal computer into a Minecraft pixel art such as the one behind me. So just to start out, I wanted to let you guys know this is mainly for people on PC. I don't really know how this would work for anyone that's on Bedrock Minecraft at all, to be honest with you, since there is an external program that we will be using to convert any image or photo into a Minecraft schematic file and then use World Edit to implement that into Minecraft. So we're going to go ahead and jump over to our desktop. So we're going to start out by going to the link that is down in the description of this video, which is our program that we will be using to turn photos into Minecraft schematics. So the program we will be using is called SpriteCraft. It's actually kind of an old program, but it was created by Diamond Pants, and it's actually a totally free program to download. Though you can see right here, people have donated because everything that you donate or pay to use this program goes to charity. You don't actually have to donate, but if you want, it is there. So we're just going to skip right to the download, which is right here in the middle of your screen, download Sprite. Crap. So we're going to click on the download link, which is directly in the center of the screen, and it's going to start to download the file. Don't worry, this is a totally safe file. If you don't feel safe, I guess don't download it, and you maybe click off this video, but it's a totally safe file. It's going to be downloading in a zip file, so you will need something to open up zip files. I suggest using WinRAR, which is also a free program. Even after the free trial, it's still a free program. So we're going to go ahead and drag this file from here to our desktop. Now, for me, it says SpriteCraft full three that's because I've downloaded this a bunch of times I don't know why I've downloaded more than once but I have so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get into the file and we're gonna extract those files here and since I actually already have this file on my desktop I'm just gonna say yes to all because it's basically replacing the file that's already on the desktop so we're gonna drag it over this is what's gonna come out of that zip file it's a folder that has a couple different things inside of it so it has a license it has a readme it has run spreadcraft full and then it has a jar file I don't know what any of these things are for to be honest with you I just know that when you click on the jar file it opens up the program so we're gonna go ahead click on that file and it's gonna go ahead and open up SpriteCraft like this and you're gonna be brought to basically the main menu of SpriteCraft so next what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna have to find yourself an image I'm assuming you already have an image ready so you're gonna want to go ahead and get that image in a pretty easy to grab place I'm just gonna drag it to the desktop we're gonna use the image that I used in the beginning of this video so what you're gonna do is hit the browser browse button right up here at the top and you're going to go ahead and find that image since it's already on my desktop I know it's revenge right here I'm going to click open now down here at the bottom I'm not sure what your numbers are going to say it may say zero it may say some number like 100 or something like that so what these numbers down here are are doing is going to control the size of the schematic file now my one suggestion if you're making a pixel art I would really focus on I guess restricting the height not really worry about restricting the width because there is no width limit in Minecraft there is however a height limit in Minecraft which I believe is 256 blocks if you're playing on a super flat world so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say no max width I'm just gonna turn that off so it doesn't have to worry about the width at all however I am going to go ahead and edit my max height now I like to make pixel arts as large as possible because I think it just adds enough blocks to make it look super super realistic so the other thing I also like to do is since I'm gonna make it as large as possible I'm gonna set the height just a couple blocks underneath the max height so I'm gonna go with 250 because when you're in a super flat world there is about four blocks below your feet underneath the grass so we're gonna go with 250 so we don't have to worry about the top of our pixel art getting cut off at the very top of the world and now what you're gonna do is since you put 250 or whatever height that you wanted to we're gonna go ahead and just click create minecraft blueprint so you're gonna click it and once it opens up it's gonna bring out your minecraft blueprint and you can actually Actually see down below all of the blocks that are needed to make this now we're gonna be using world edit to paste this into our world but if you wanted to manually place blocks by hand this basically gives you a good template to do that and it tells you exactly how many blocks that you'll need and how and I guess which kind of blocks you'll need as well so if you wanted to you can actually zoom in and see the blocks in 
detail you can see it's actually minecraft blocks it's not just a bunch of pixels and when you zoom far out it looks pretty much exactly like the image that you just input into it so what we're going to go ahead and do is we're actually going to click this save schematic button now if you wanted to you can hit the save image button if you're going to use it as a template and you're basically just going to look at the image and copy it into your world by placing blocks by hand if you're doing probably a more smaller scale pixel art but for my instance we're going to hit save schematic and we're going to go ahead and probably save it to our desktop and we're just going to name it revenge and then we're going to hit save now you can go ahead and click out of this you can click out of spritecraft we have our image now in a schematic file so what we're going to need to do next we're going to need to open up a new file explorer in the very top we're going to have to open up our minecraft folder so we're going to do percent app data percent enter and then you're going to go ahead and click on the minecraft folder and then you're going to want to go into the config file world edit schematics is right here so we'll open that up and then we'll go ahead and drag our schematic file in there now i have to hit replace file and destination because i already have this exact schematic in there because i tested this out prior to the video now quick side note if you do not have world edit you're gonna need that and i'm not gonna explain how to download world edit or anything related to world edit in this video because i want to focus on actually implementing the pixel arts rather than worrying about telling you how to use world edit. that's just totally for another video so now that you have the schematic file into your schematics folder within world edit you can go ahead and click out of your minecraft folder and you're going to go ahead and open up minecraft so now we are in a random minecraft world actually the same world that we started and we're actually going to go ahead and paste in this schematic again it's very simple if you've never pasted in a schematic it's really not that hard so you're going to want to go into your chat and type slash slash schematic space load space mc edit now what mc edit is is the file type in a way you don't have to download mc edit it's just a file type that's being loaded and then you want to put in the name of your schematic now i named my revenge i don't know what you guys named yours but you're going to put that in in capitals do indeed matter so you're going to type that in and then you're just going to press enter now you're going to see in your chat it's going to say revenge or whatever the name of your schematic is loaded and now you can do slash slash paste now it's going to paste vertically and it's going to paste from the bottom most i believe left corner so what you're going to want to do is come to the lowest point in your world and you're just going to stand there type slash slash paste and then you can just press enter and it should load in for you so i was mistaken it paste in from the bottom right hand corner so that side of the schematic or of the pixel art and then it's going to paste it in it's going to paste it vertically and depending on the size of the pixel art it's going to take a little longer depending on i guess the size of your computer as well because you are pasting in a ton of blocks and that's pretty much it it's that simple you can literally turn any image into a schematic now what i I did when I did the PewDiePie pixel art here a couple of weeks ago I did a similar thing except I went ahead and did it by hand because I wanted to give it the really really cool time-lapse effect that it had so I basically used that program turned one of their wedding photos into a pixel art and then I went ahead and used that template so I saved it as an image file instead of saving it as a schematic file and then just copied that as a template when I was placing the blocks down below and then just went back and forth back and forth to create a really cool time-lapse effect now this is what we're gonna bring today's video to a wrap now I hope this kind of like gives you guys a really cool way to make pixel arts because it really does depending on the image image it can make some really really insane things and this is just like a quick tip to be able to do other things using pixel arts like if you wanted to make custom maps like if you've ever been on a minecraft server and you see really cool i guess maps that have art in them or like signs that say welcome to my server and stuff this is pretty much how they do that except they make it a horizontal pixel art instead and then they just turn it into maps so that's just like effort given a little bit of a secret way for minecraft servers so i hope you guys did learn something today and I hope that it is helpful for those of you that are looking to turn any image into a pixel art or those that actually struggle doing pixel arts because pretty much every pixel art that you've seen on YouTube is using either this program or a program similar and it just it's not hard to do so a lot of people do it to make really cool pixel arts but guys this is where today's video is coming to a wrap if you guys could show your appreciation down below and where down there guys might as well hit that subscribe button but as always guys i love you all see you guys next time peace out